Hey yo, what is up guys? Um, I'm gonna be talking about my today okay, I'll start I should start off with saying that congratulations on the career to the dead man, the phenom, the undertaker. Um, so he's had just an outstanding career and uh, apparently in his last dry documentary he retired and tonight on SmackDown they actually kinda confirmed it. So that's kind of the thing, it's like Vince always brings him back, and he hasn't retired, even though I feel like he's about six years past the time, six, seven years past the time, not seven, four, five, four or five years past the time when he should have retired. I felt like he should have retired in a match against Sting at WrestleMania 31, or after WrestleMania 33 in the match against Roman Reigns, but whatever, the dead man did it his own way. He's easily one of the greatest, if you don't feel like he's the greatest pro wrestler ever. Uh, since the birth of Hulkamania. Uh, he's the greatest WWE superstar ever. He's everything that WWE represents and everything good about pro wrestling is The Undertaker. And yeah, he's just known for his just warrior-like mentality and how he would just wrestle matches with, you know, broken bones and how he would just not complain and his loyalty to Vince McMahon, his agility for a big man of him being able to walk across the top ropes and fly over the top ropes and his just incredible strength and a unique look and great gimmick and there's just not a lot of good things I mean not just you can't just there's just so many great things you can say about this guy um, I'm doing my top 10 this isn't like really a top 10 matches so I'm doing this video in just two parts this first video is just going to be talking about just some of his greatest matches and the second video is just going to be talking about my opinions on The Undertaker and his career and my own, like, personal story of watching him wrestle and everything. So, uh, at, so at number 10, it's not like, okay, this isn't like a list of just ranked matches and everybody can have their own opinions of what his greatest matches are. And he's had a career that spanned 30 years, guys. There's, there's going to be some differences in matches and everything like that. And this isn't just like specific matches. You'll understand as the list goes on. So it's not really just like a ranked 10 matches or list. It's not really ranked or anything like that. So if you guys want to leave your own rankings in the co comment section below and make sure you guys check out my part two to this, which will be releasing also sometime this weekend. So let's just get right into the list. And I tried to include matches from all, uh, because Undertaker's had so many gimmicks and stuff like that, uh, gimmick changes and stuff that he's evolved over the years. So I kind of tried also to include matches from different time periods of his career so that people can get like a good grasp on his career. And obviously, I would like to include this match at number 11. Actually, number 12 and number 11 would be his Royal Rumble win and that just great ending with Shawn Michaels. I just thought that was amazing. Number 11, uh, it's not just a great match, it's not really a great match, but his match against Hulk Hogan at Survivor Series in 1991 where he won the championship, and that was just huge for his career. And watching those early Deadman matches is just, whew, it's really fun to watch and how he was built and how he was just super terrifying when he would come out. So, uh, my, the first match I'm gonna talk about at number 10 here is his Ministry Undertaker with that just great theme song versus Stone Cold Steve Austin at Fully Loaded 1999, I believe is the pay-per-view took place. Their first blood match, yeah. Just a super intense brawl and fight, and it just that match got me just so hyped up when I first watched it. That was just such an excellent match. Just two dudes just throwing down. I just it was just such an excellent brawl. The Undertaker ended up taking the L in it, but it was just such an amazing match at the height of the Attitude Era in '99 there. So it was just such an excellent match, and I think everyone who's an Undertaker or Steve Austin fan should watch it. Um, at number nine, I'm putting Biker Undertaker versus Jeff Hardy on Raw. So it's one of the greatest Raw matches ever, and arguably probably the greatest match of Biker Taker you could put on there. And this was a, just a, such a star-making performance for Jeff Hardy in this match, and how at the end Undertaker, who is Playing, I'm pretty sure he was a heel at this time where he was just disrespecting everybody and Jeff Hardy was mad disrespecting Undertaker starting off the match with he's like getting on like the motorcycle and everything and then Undertaker gets out there to kick his ass and Jeff Hardy's flying over the top rope hitting him and that was just an amazing match and I think yeah it just really helped boost 
Jeff Hardy's career, even after taking a loss to the Dead Man. And it's just, yeah, again, Undertaker elevating younger talent who needed it at the time. So, yeah, it definitely deserves a spot uh, in my list, anyway. Um, at number eight, again, this, so I, like I said earlier, it's not really just a specific match. It, match. It's kind of like also some feuds, too, will be involved. So at number eight, I have matches just against Mankind. Uh, he, they just had some just crazy, wicked brawls. So, like, ma the match they had at King of the Ring 1996, their Boiler Room Brawl, which was just crazy, and their... What was the match? I'm thinking of? Oh, the Buried Alive match. I'm just a big fan of that Buried Alive match. I love that match. I just think it's so cool, the atmosphere of and look of the, the pay-per-view. It just looked really, really cool. You know, it's, that's back when he was like Purple Undertaker, too, and he was wearing like er, purple. I think he was wearing either purple or gray in that match, and it was really, really cool. So yeah, that's like a mid-90s kind of look at the dead man there. Don't worry, I'm going to get to that other match in a minute here. So yeah, his Mankind feud is just amazing, because Mankind was just the first guy to take it to the dead man and brawl with him and fight with him. One of the first guys you really saw like that to come in. So next up here, we got his matches against his match against Brock Lesnar uh, at SummerSlam. Uh, SummerSlam, fuck, SummerSlam 2015. So I'm just spitting that out because it really sucked. Uh, the reason that match is on here is because it kind of represents the later years of the Undertaker and. Yeah, this is probably his last, like, great match. I don't remember him really... Besides the AJ Styles match, which I, I didn't put on the list, but definitely could be on anybody's list. And I understand that, but I didn't put it on here. I put this match instead because it was a great in-ring performance for The Undertaker at a time when a lot of people were doubting him. And he, even though he didn't really look the same, he didn't have that same movement, he still put on a great performance. And he, he still proved he could fight and brawl with, the, with these younger guys out there and that he still could hang, you know? And that he did prove in that match, but he just, you know, t time is catching up with him, you can tell. <laughs> so, after that, this is a match that doesn't really get talked about. Number six here is Bret Hart versus The Undertaker at SummerSlam 1997. I really like this match. It was kind of an interesting story dynamic, because you have the storyline with Bret and Shawn Michaels, which hasn't been really wrapped up yet. And you can tell it's just getting heated and heated and heated. But also, The Undertaker's kind of in the mix of things, because you got... Because Undertaker's also still feuding with Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels at this time. And Undertaker came into this match as a champion, and this is where he got hit in the head by Shawn with the chair, and that started their whole feud. And Undertaker just had some great matches after this with Shawn at... Uh, what was it? Ground Zero and sh and his match the next month. I think it took place in the UK. I can't remember which pay per view was called. One Night Only. I want to say it's called. I can't. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, but yeah, you had another that match on that pay per view with Bret Hart. So yeah, it just it led to a lot of great things, and the match itself was just excellent. I, I was a huge fan of this match. I used to just watch it all the time. So yeah, that's the match I have at number six. And at number five, uh, so this is actually my favorite kind of era of The Undertaker, is when he first came back as the Dead Man, all the way up to about 2010. So it's a six-year period where he was just super dynamic in the ring. And it's his match against Kurt Angle at No Way Out 2006. It was just such an excellent just match. I can't really... They, they really went at it, and they... It was, just, it was just super interesting how they, like, The Undertaker, I can't, it's kind of like an MMA kind of style match where it was just super, just super athletic, and, yeah, and, and the surprise win with Kurt Angle, he did, like, a weird roll-up, The Undertaker had him in a triangle choke, and then the Kurt Angle rolled him up at the end, and then he got the, the sneak victory, and it was just such an excellent match that, again, it's not one of those matches that a lot of people remember, or I think, so... Because it just happened right before WrestleMania, so it just kind of went under the radar. But again, just amazing stuff, and it just proved how athletic and the stuff The Undertaker was, and how diverse his move set was at the time. And that's why I have to like include this match on here. So again, again, Kurt Angle's again amazing. So number four uh, matches against Batista. So the next year, he he started his feud with Batista after he won the Rumble. 
and he just had this series of great matches with them. So the first one was at WrestleMania, and then the next was at that, their amazing Last Man Standing match at Backlash, and it led to them having a steel cage match where they both dropped out of the cage and they hit the ground at the same time. And then I believe Edge cashed in right after that. And they, they had some other matches like down the road there at like so, so Cyber Sunday, I believe, later on that year. So yeah, Batista was just a legendary opponent of the dead man. And they even had a really good chairs match in 2009 when Batista's like, I see fear in the Undertaker's eyes. <laughs> so that was really, really cool stuff. So his matches against Batista were really interesting and awesome to watch but between just two powerhouses. So yeah, just awesome matches there. Uh, number three, again, so we go 2006, Kurt Angle. 2007, Batista. 2008, Edge. Again, do I even have to talk about this? Most of their matches are actually on WWE's YouTube channel right now, I believe. So I highly recommend everyone go and check them out because they're just... They just had this string of just amazing matches, and they were the first guys to actually main event both WrestleMania and SummerSlam in the same year. So that was just amazing, and they were the first Hell in a Cell match without blood. So I, you just you can't talk enough about just how great those matches are with Edge, and and it just proved just how great both those guys were. And Undertaker again, at 40 years he was a. Uh, in his early 40s at the time, and that's about the time when pro wrestlers hit their peak of psychology, really. and it really showed with the dead man, because he was just super athletic, and his moveset at the time was like, when he introduced the Hell's Gate submission, so just, again, amazing work with Edge, and just an amazing storyline, and it's just great stuff from WWE there. Number two, this is, again, not really just one match. It's a series of matches, because this is the Undertaker's specialty match, the Hell in a Cell match. So you got the match with Shawn Michaels, the match with Mankind, the match with... He was involved in that Armageddon Hell in a Cell, so i got to throw that match in there. His Hell in a Cell match with Randy Orton was amazing. His Hell in a Cell match with Batista was great. His Hell in a Cell match with Edge was great. And this, I feel like I am missing one. <laughs> I can't remember what it is right now. But yeah, you just, like, those are just some of the big ones right off the top. The top of my top of his head, yeah. Top of my head, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, again, just all those Hell in a Cell matches were really peak, and it just showed how much of a vicious monster The Undertaker could be when he really went out there and performed, and how much of a, just a threat he was, being locked in there in the cage with that guy who was just a freak of nature, yeah, and how everyone was always scared of him. Yeah, I mean, the Hell in a Cell matches were great with the dead man back, back then. And at number one here, you can pretty much place any of these matches in at number one, in my opinion. So you can just go with a bunch of matches from the streak. Obviously, you knew that these matches were going to be on here, and you just didn't know where. And I didn't really want to feel like picking a different spot on this list for each each of them, because it'd just be like a super redundant list. So you got the Shawn Michaels matches, uh, the Triple H matches, all three of those things are just classics. The, the first Kane match is just awesome. The comeback of Kane... The Dead Man in the second Kane match is just a super iconic moment. The Batista match, which I had mentioned earlier, the Edge match, the, the CM Punk match, which was just an amazing, just awesome storytelling. The you can even throw the Brock, the Brock Lesnar match is one of the most iconic matches now in history because of what happened at the end. Oh man, am I missing one? Oh, the Randy Orton match was also really good. Uh, no, I think I, I hit all, like, the big ones, essentially. So, yeah, just all those awesome WrestleMania matches of the Dead Man are just perfect. So, <laughs> just great matches. So let me know, I guess I'm at the end of the list, so you guys can all let me know what your favorite Undertaker matches or favorite matches of his career so let me know that in the comments below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also share this video if you feel like it to show it to your other Undertaker fan friends. <laughs> um, and lastly, I am going to be doing another video about what the Undertaker, the impact that the Undertaker had on me. So be sure to watch that video, guys. And peace out.